Hey guys, how's it going? Davey Michaels here, and for the past few months, I've been converting a 1986 Ford Econoline van into a tiny off-grid microhome. Now, I'm not totally finished with the interior of the van or the electrical of it, so this isn't going to be a full-on van tour. But there is one corner that I'm specifically psyched about showing you. So this is my attempt at a micro film studio in a 1986 converted camper van. So this is what it looks like from the front side with the very generic lighting. So you can zoom in a bit to crop out the surfboard shelf and the bed that was in frame before. So this is the standard view. Turning on the lights is very quick and simple with just a click of a button. Currently I'm just plugging them into a cord that's running into the house because I currently don't have solar panels. The three different buttons on the lights allows it to change color, turn on and off, and adjust the brightness of each shot. The lower light adds some more dimension to the frame. The main key light that I'm using is actually a DIY light designed by Daniel Schiffer. It's just a pan and some LED strip lights strung around on the inside to reflect and it works pretty well. I use just a plain white t-shirt to diffuse the light. To mount the light I just used like a two dollar clamp from Walmart. I mounted it to a drawer that I built on the front of the van. And this is convenient because it allows me to swing it in and out so that I can get some differing shadows. The light also has an array of colors to choose from. This is really nice because it allows you to change color based upon your theme or your mood. Like green can be used to express greed or blue can be used to express some sadness. Red can be used to express anger as everyone knows. Orange if you want to look like an Oompa Loompa. Purple if you want to look like Violet from Willy Wonka. Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet! Sorry, I don't know why those two Charlie and the Chocolate Factory references came out of me. There's this one creamy kind of white light that I really like because it gives you a more warm feeling, like something you might get in like a movie with some orange and teal colors. The backlights are really convenient because you can use them to make complementary colors like green and red if it's Christmas or red, white, and blue if you want to make a patriotic themed video on the 4th of July. This right here is probably my favorite combination and will likely end up being used in a lot of videos. Lastly, I wanted to try out this look, which is the table and lower shot look. I think it would be really good to use for some product videos because then you can place your cameras and whatever you're making a review on on the table. Yeah, I do want to fill up the bottom shelf with some more vintage cameras, so don't worry, those are coming soon. Also, this isn't meant to be anything like professional or like really well done. It's just something that I enjoy doing. And feel free to use any of the techniques or whatnot that you see in this video. It's uh, nothing super fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my new mini studio that I hope to be making much, much more videos in. So if you'll uh, join me on the journey, I'd love to have you subscribe and maybe hit the like button. But thank you so much for tuning in and just have a wonderful day.